We're Living Local and it's Tech Tuesday with Cell Phone Repair. We're here at their West Ashley location. Today we're going to be talking about advanced repairs that you may not even know existed or that you need. Tech Tuesday, sponsored by CPR Cell Phone Repair. We are here with Chris again, one of our favorite people with our Tech Tuesday. Um, today we're talking about advanced repairs. And I don't even know where to start with that. Where, do, where are we going with advanced repairs? So what we're going to talk about today is micro soldering electronics. So okay. when we talk about micro soldering or something that's really advanced and it requires a lot of training and expertise to be able to handle, we're talking about virtually the logic board itself, the actual board on the inside that controls any device that you have. Is that the motherboard? Motherboards, logic boards, okay. um, you have daughter boards. They're all different types of circuit boards that allow any device electronic to actually work properly. So across all these motherboards you have small micro resistors, diodes, you know, charge ports, copper circuitry that runs on them. Um, and any tiny little issue can cause, you know, a bigger issue to occur. So if you have one little micro resistor that blew up, well, electricity can't flow through that board okay. anymore. So it's a small little piece, but it destroys everything. So when we talk about microelectronic repair, micro soldering repairs, we're talking about being able to repair those microelectronics on the board. Okay, so you're not sawing anything. No, 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 you're, no you're we don't saw You're going in there anything. and you're diagnosing the problem. Be, how would you even know that it was a problem with the motherboard? Or so there's a lot of diagnostics that go into it. So the first things that we want to take a look at are the components themselves. Can we switch out the components to get the board, you know, the actual board to work again? If no components work on the board, then we know that it's the board itself that's the issue. And from there, we have advanced diagnostic techniques that allow us to actually identify what on the board is actually going wrong. Okay, it sounds like you're kind of like a doctor in yeah. this. Okay, so we are how, CPR. how imp important is it for the person coming and bringing in the phone to actually tell you what happened? Or Incredibly important. Okay. So we have our own line of diagnostic questioning that gives us a better understanding idea. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you see weird things going on and you don't allow us or if to you know. do weird things that get you in here because yeah. <laughs> yeah no judgment no judgment yeah um but the more information that you have for us and you know the more you can answer for us the better off we can diagnose your issues talk about how important it is though for the technicians here to be very well rounded and under i mean it takes a lot to get that knowledge it takes a lot it's it's an experience that is hard to come by. Um, luckily enough, in our side, inside our company, we have a few microelectronic uh, repair uh, repair people that can do these types of repairs. And a lot of our guys, you know, pick up little bits and pieces here and there. Uh, one of the things we like to do most is we do a lot of PlayStation 4 HDMI ports that are micro soldering repairs. And we actually train a lot of people on using those boards because they're big and they're easier to see versus, you know, tiny little phones. Um, but over the course of you know someone's experience here, they'll pick up random little things here and there, and they really have a desire to learn it. I teach them. And you are the professor. I think that's going to be your new nickname. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. And for more information, of course, you can always visit them online at cellphonerepair.com or come visit them in the store at their Mount Pleasant location. We're here in West Ashley, and they also have one in Somerville.